Okay, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Southern Four Wheel Drive's TechNet. So, Jay, tell yes. us about coal mine. All right, absolutely. So, um, I was invited earlier this week to um, go to visit um, the mayor of the town of Colmont called me and said, would you come up and, and, and visit? I uh, want to talk to you. So I went up and toured the new Colmont OHV park. Now, uh, let me back up a little bit and explain what, what is uh, going on with the Colmont OHV park. We've been talking about Colmont OHV forever it seems like with with southern so um so about 11 years ago this is how long it's been going 11 years ago um colmont was awarded a large grant from the rtp funds all right so what is rtp funds i know i know a lot of folks know exactly what we're talking about but just in case for the new folks um rtp is called recreational trails program and um Every time you fill up your gas, there's a little piece of that that they realize goes to off-road use. So it goes into a fund and then gets distributed to different states. Now, we have, we, Southern Full Wheel Drive Association, has uh, members on most every board in the Southeast uh, to, to help administer those funds to go to motorized recreation. In the state of Tennessee, uh, most everything went, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, to TDEC because it has to go to a government entity. Well, the cool thing is the city of Colmont says, hang on a second. We can probably get these funds. They reached out to Southern. We helped them get a, um, a $500,000 grant to start the Colmont OHV park. Now, this was 11 years ago in the making. Um, now, remember, we're working with the federal government, we're working with the state government, we're working with the county government, and now we're working with the city government. So you get all that bureaucracy in mind. Um, we purchased about 1,400 uh, acres of land on the north end of the Coppinger Cove area. So coal mounts in Grundy County, Tennessee, on the north end of the Coppinger Cove, which everybody loves to ride, and it's 1,400 acres. We last year um, we finally have broken ground. We have got uh, we're starting to we're we're uh, went up there toured the area. We have got um, the bathhouses are are almost in. We um, the they've got this huge beautiful pavilion. The pavilion was actually donated by um, the Southeast or Toyota Land Cruiser Association, which is just I mean the pavilion is going to be great. Um, if y'all remember Southern, um, made a $5,000 grant to help pay for some of the, um, RV campsites. Um, and so there's going to be 15 RV sites with, uh, electric and water. There's going to be a dump station and big, uh, I mean, it's just going to be nice. The primitive camping looks great. Um, they're still having a couple of issues with, uh, the water and a few things. They're still working on building trails, but I mean, um, Everything looks great. Now, Southern actually said um, to get the grant, we had to actually um, promise that we would volunteer $42,000 worth of volunteer labor. We've already hit over $52,000 worth of volunteer labor. And one of the things that um, we need is we need to help with some trail building. So um, look on the Southern Facebook page, look on the Colmont OHV Facebook page. Um, coming up fairly soon. I don't know if they've got it up there yet, but they're going to have a volunteer um, uh, meeting or uh, volunteers at the park March 20th. And they need folks to help cut some trails. They've got them flagged. They need uh, chainsaw folks. They need folks to uh, with the blade weed eaters. They need folks with loppers. Um, the trail system is going to be fabulous. If you've, if, if you've done anything up at Coppinger Cove, that's basically what the trail system is. There's a lot of the old uh, logging roads and a lot of the old um, rock harvesting roads that they're using. And it is just a beautiful, beautiful piece of property. And I'm just looking so forward to it. Now, let me tell you a little secret here. This is just between you and me and, and everybody on here. 
but I've got I've got it on good authority that if you go to Trail Fest, we may be able to have one or two trail rides at Colmont, and the, the park's not going to be open. The trails will not be finished. They were, but at Trail Fest, April thirtieth to May second, um, we will probably be. Um, I mean, because it's just just a few minutes up the road from AOP. So if you were at Trail Fest, we might be able to sign up and go for a ride on the new trails um, at at Colmont, and that would be great. The I have talked to the mayor, talked to the mayor earlier this week, and I really want a Southern Meet and Ride as the kickoff for Colmont, and he said that would be great. So we are going to hopefully do that as soon as possible. That is just going to be, I mean, so much fun. So this is, this is, this is one of the things that um, um, we do need some volunteers. Look for the link. We've got some great clubs that have stepped up. The Southeastern Toyota Land Cruisers Association has done a fabulous job uh, helping with this program. The folks from Scenic City have done all the heavy equipment work. Gunner Bird, Griff Shirley have, have gone in there. I, I'm sure I'm missing half the people's names. Roger Thor was was there. I'm missing almost everybody who has volunteered. But if you volunteered, thank you so much. I really would like to see some people out there on March 20th to volunteer. That would be great. And I definitely want to see you um, at Trail Fest. I'm looking forward to that. So, 